Okay, hello, it's Virtual One Media, and uh, this video series uh, in, on my website, uh, I'll be showing you how to create a car paint shader. So, it's very useful thing if you model a car or any kind of structures. Uh, you need to have 3ds Max 9 or later. So, if you use 3ds Max 6 or 7, uh, it's not gonna work. I'm not sure about 8. I haven't tested yet. Uh, but anyway, let's begin. Uh, first, we need to make a quick render setup. So. I just go create a plane 40 segments by 40 go to modify panel go to modifier list and add bend modifier angle will be minus 90 bend axis will X limit the effect and uh, just drag it out something like this and uh, just hit F4 on a perspective so you could get a uh, edge faces uh, I don't know create a simple I don't know maybe Let's create a few objects to actually see what we're doing. Uh, let's create a spear. Uh, and uh, let's create a teapot. Just increase the segments to get smoother. It's a bit too much. Let's go maybe 14. Then, oh, I deselected the object. No. Uh, so yeah, something is wrong. Just give, yeah, there is. So just go to about ten or thirteen. Uh, add some segments here as well to about thirty. Yeah, just boost it up and uh, just move it up. What you want to make sure is um, that this spear sits right, right on top of the plane. Uh, just rotate this to something like that and uh, just move the spear to somewhere maybe here yeah just keep it here uh, just center it hit all W to get into full screen mode let's just make a quick render to see what we're gonna get just hit F9 and uh, as you can see that's what we have and uh, it's gonna make a um, clone and uh, now let's set up so create light standard light go to skylight just insert anywhere now click rendering render uh, click on common tab scroll down and assign render and uh, I got V-ray mental ray and uh, the default scan line so I'm gonna select mental ray and uh, go indirect illumination enable final gather gather just I'm gonna select this draft now now the if you select very high on a preset it's gonna take a lot of time to render but it's gonna be very good quality so in, a, in this case you're gonna select select draft because uh, I just wanna make a quick render and uh, select global illumination and I uh, just hit render and see what we get. And uh, I can tell that the spear is not on the ground, but it looks much better than before. If I would compare it, as you can see, we get a lot of difference. So let's just switch up both of them and uh, create a camera. Hit Control C, and it's gonna create a camera from the perspective view or wh wh whichever view you were watching before. Go to the front and uh, just lower down the spear get just a little bit under the plane doesn't really matter so go to camera one and uh, hit F3 and F4 and it's gonna sort everything out now uh, hit M and it's gonna open your material editor uh, hit this right here get material and uh, select car paint and the uh, mental ray actually got shader pre-made one so what I'm gonna do is just uh, duplicate it just uh, rename it and uh, change the color to something like gray maybe okay and I'm gonna apply this to the teapot and uh, this one to the spear and uh, let's try to make a render and uh, there's a little bit of error. this happens time to time so don't worry just temporary uh, go to render I just select 
camera one day on. You can see this looks nice. And these spots, as you can see, he's got already got the reflections. You can see the teapot, yeah, in the reflection. And uh, yeah, this is very sim simple, and uh, it does have all the little bits to make it look like a re realistic art paint. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. It's very simple, uh, only a few steps. And uh, uh, if you like it, just uh, leave a comment under the video.